Hey guys, so we're getting really close to one of my favorite times of year, which is Halloween, because I love scary stuff. I thought it would be really cool to do a cake to represent a horror or a sci-fi creature's birthday. So I was thinking, what if I made Predator a birthday cake? Like what if he was an actual person and I had to make something to represent him? So I thought I would do something absolutely disgusting because anybody who loves Predator knows that he likes to skin his victims. You learn how to make a chocolate skull, you learn how to make sugar glass, you learn how to make real edible blood and make your cake look skinned. What more could you want from a horror fan? This is it. Don't get scared now. To begin, take your plastic skull mold, paintbrush and a small bowl of melted white chocolate. Brush the white chocolate into the mould ensuring it's all covered. To create a solid skull I recommend painting 3-4 to four layers of white chocolate and popping it in the fridge to set for about 10 minutes between coats. This makes it less likely that the skull will break. Once set completely, loosen the edges of the skull with a small blade. Using a hairdryer on a low heat, run it over the face of the skull. The heat from the dryer should help the skull to pop out really easily. Clean up the jagged edges with your blade. To bring your skull to life, brush with edible coloured dusts. I'm using black and red. Using flesh coloured buttercream, I'm adding some texture to my 6 inch cake to give a skinned effect. To create your sugar glass, put 120 ml of water, 200 grams of granulated sugar and 120 grams of golden syrup into a small pot. Cook your sugar mixture over a medium to high heat. Add a candy thermometer and heat until mixture reaches hard crack stage, which is 150 degrees Celsius. Once it reaches this temperature, carefully pour the hot syrup straight onto a tray lined with parchment. Once completely cooled, you can smash your glass into shards. Here's some delicious, but equally gross, fake blood I made earlier. To make your own, you need three ingredients. Golden syrup, chocolate sauce, and red food coloring. Take some of your fake blood and mix with some piping gel and crushed Oreos for texture. Using a large brush, cover your skull with this bloody mixture. To decorate the cake, I've added some crumbled red velvet sponge to give it some extra texture. Using your blood mixture, it's now time to cover your cake in as much gore as you can stomach. And now, take your glass shards and arrange around the cake. For extra gore, add some drips of blood over your shards. And now, take your bloody chocolate skull and place it in front of your cake. To top it off for the main alien himself, I have a custom Predator cake topper from Lollipop Craft Studio. I hope you all enjoyed this super gory cake tutorial. Thanks Emil for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below.